Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to Narcology Unscripted. This is Dave. Today's subject is going to be the narcissist doesn't understand why bad things are starting to happen to them. Guys, take a quick second, like and subscribe, and then comment down below if you agree with this take or you don't. Go ahead and grab your coffee or your tea. Good evening around the world. Thanks for sitting in to the Narcology Morning Show. Cheers, guys. Seed, time, and harvest. You get what you put in. What comes around goes around. If you're into karma, the laws of the land of this world is based on those principles. And whatever spiritual thing that you're into, there is that thing in common. <laughs> but the narcissist don't think that there's a consequence to all of their lying. They think that if they can move through this life and everyone believe in their lives, they get through this life unscathed. This is the game that they play. They don't believe in karma. They don't care. The narcissists live for the now and what works for them. This is why people say that they're maladaptive because they enjoy doing this. They're not going to come clean to the people that they meet. If they're feeling euphoria for somebody, that dopamine rush, let's say, is in both parties. They're not going to come clean and say, I, I got something to tell you. I am not good at relationships. You have to know this. I don't seem to be able to love and bond. They don't say this to the person. Instead, they're going to go ahead and lock this person down, even knowing all of this. Because by locking a person down into a commitment, as soon as that oxytocin goes in and all that dopamine is gone and the euphoria in both parties are gone, what's left? The only thing that's left is their love and bond and your knowledge of this and the narcissist's knowledge of this. And they're going to use that against their victims. Instead of saying, look, when this euphoria is, is clean and cleared up in our cavasas, I'm not going to want to be with you. And I'm going to apologize if you want to stay with me still. I'm going to apologize for the so sudden turn. Because the narcissists just see their targets as a sponge, guys. They have to dip you, the sponge, into the supply. And when it stops dripping autonomously, that's when they know to break in to the push-pull, the deval. Because you're not mirroring back adulation to them, they're going to start making you jump through hoops. You're going to see on their face by their threats of of constantly threatening you to leave and being passive aggressive and ghosting you. They're going to render this look that the victims have on their face as look how special you are. They start wringing that sponge and what comes out is I love you. Please don't go. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. You are special. They wring that out of the victims. But they're always gauging the tub and seeing how low the supply is getting. They never want to be vulnerable. This is why they don't form an attachment. They never tell their victims. The victims have to go over and over and over through this push-pull until that tub that supply in that tub dries up. There's a, the narcissists know that there is a shelf life to the sponge before it dries out. And they're always gauging. Once it's half empty, because it's the narcissist, what do they do? They start grooming a new supply. They start dipping into that catalog from the harem garage. They know what's up, guys. They know that they're insatiable. So they're wringing out your sponge 
into them and that's leaking out the bottom. They're never satisfied. I don't care what you are marrying back to the narcissist. You could be putting them on such a high mountain, they don't care. They're gonna gauge that tub. A lot of them will shoot the gun and start finding a replacement while the tub is, is right at midpoint, half empty, because it's a narcissist. It's always half empty. And so getting to that, they're gonna groom a supply behind your back they love this because they have three supplies in place. They have the transitional supply, and that's usually the baby mama or the baby daddy that they're future faking with. They're future faking with the new supply. They're going to see how it goes with you. Always playing the new supply off of you. Seeing who has the, the biggest flower because they know you're a good person. They know your love is true. It's coming from your heart and soul. The narcissist is living up here in the organic brain and is faking all this and they know it. They're faking with all the fuel sources that they care for them. Yeah, let's have a future. We're gonna get married soon that they're telling the new supply. I just need to, to get rid of this person here. This is what's going on in their minds, guys. The euphoria is gone. They just want out of there. The only fuel that they get is when they wring that sponge and produce it from their fuel source because their fuel sources have had it. Everyone has their breaking point. And the narcissist understands this. Yet they still move on to the next person, even, even though they know they hurt a good person. It doesn't bother them because they don't feel that remorse and guilt. But the laws of the land know what they're doing. In my case, heaven and hell know exactly what the narcissist is doing, yet they won't change. They are putting seeds into their garden. What type of plant or flower are they gonna render? A, a flower of fire. They're gonna have demonic forces coming up against them, posing as working with them. They're gonna feel like they have all this power and their, their world is, is starting to, um, to crumble down to the ground because all they have put in the ground are these Demon seeds. And so as the narcissist ages, what do they have? They have a few flying monkeys around them, jumping through hoops, trying to get, trying to give them the supply that they want, the love, giving them love, not knowing that the narcissist is really taken over by Jezebel at this point. At first it's influences, but then the more seeds that they put in the ground, by the time they're older guys, it's, it's full Jezebel. This is why people say they get older with age because what they do has worked for them. And so when Jezebel takes over, they are cocky. They are arrogant. They're gonna triangulate the few supplies that they have left because this is all they know. This is all they want to do. They look back on you in your blessed life as saying, I should have let my guard down. Look at their wonderful, blessed life full of love. This is what I could have had when they look at your life. They took your love and they filtered your love as mere fuel. They dilute everyone's love into fuel that just works for them. They don't see the value in people. They see people as mere objects of what is mirrored back to them to make them feel a certain way, relevant. They can't feel love, therefore they can't give love. And so 
people think all their love has gone to waste for the narcissist. No, 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 no. Life is short, guys. The love that you felt for the narcissist, your true love coming from your heart and soul down here, those seeds go into the ground also. They don't go in vain. Every time you took care of the narcissist, every time you did a good deed for the narcissist, spilling your guts, letting your guard down, trying to work on the relationship, trying to save the love that you had for the narcissist, all go into the ground and come back in your garden and sprout. And this is what the narcissist sees. As their looks start to fade, and they do fade because of their awful seeds that they put in the ground, their looks start to fade. It becomes obvious, guys, to the world the lack of fruit that the narcissist produces. And those flowers of fire start burning off the mask. They can't even wear the mask anymore as they age. All that's left is who they are, their true self. That means nothing but manipulation and lies. This is what's left. And the narcissist doesn't understand it because they never even tried to change. They never tried to introspect. So they're not going to do it in at the age of 70, 80, or 90 either. They're going to triangulate and manipulate the few sources that they have left up into the last breath. And it's a very, very sad deal. But you don't have to go through it. You don't have to witness this because your garden is sprouting nothing but love that you gave. Keep that in mind. All right, guys, I had to get that off my chest. Make sure you guys share this video. The question of the day is, I had a good question. The question of the day is, who has seen their lives better already away from the narcissist who is over the pain phase and seeing their lives already blossom that they realize this was meant to be that God has pulled them away from this situation and God is making beauty for ashes who has seen that comment down below it's good for the newbies to see this community and how this community has each other's backs with that in mind, make sure you join the SEAL team. I'm going live today at 3 o'clock, Mountain Time, US of A. You don't want to miss it. Join the SEAL team underneath. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Be blessed, guys.